stump, his own party telling him to tone it down. But tonight, more people turning out to see the Donald than any other Republican candidate so far. And the protesters there, too. A close call in the skies. The packed passenger plane coming in for a landing and a near collision with a drone. The pilot calling in for help. It was about uh, 2,021 feet. It was uh, just off of our left side. Who investigators are searching for tonight. And straight out of a galaxy far, far away, the sneak peek sending Star Wars fans into an intergalactic frenzy. The first look at a princess we haven't seen since Return of the Jedi. From ABC News World Headquarters, this is ABC World News Tonight. Great to have you with us on this Saturday. I'm Cecilia Vega. We begin tonight with a scare on a popular beach in Rhode Island that sent sunbathers scrambling. A bomb squad rushed to the scene after a blast that witnesses say felt like a gas explosion or an earthquake. The force of that blast so great it sent a woman flying into the air. She landed on the rocks. That's her right there on the stretcher. No word yet on her condition. So what cause caused that blast? ABC's Mary Bruce leading us off tonight. Sort of rocks falling on surface. I know how many victims we have. Tonight, officials in Rhode Island investigating what caused a terrifying explosion in the middle of a crowded beach. It felt like an earthquake or gas explosion. The blast appearing to come from underneath the sand. People started screaming and running toward the area and yelling for help and to call 911. It was it was very busy. Very chaotic. The force so strong it threw a 50 year old woman onto a nearby rock wall. It's going down to South Pine State Beach for a subject who pinned on the rocks. First responders rushing her to a local hospital. Her condition tonight unknown. The beach immediately evacuated, a bomb squad scrambling to the scene. We have no evidence or indication that there was a device. This could be natural, it could be man made. At this point, it's still under investigation. Late today, officials saying they have found no evidence of foul play. I have not been told of any evidence that would suggest that there is shrapnel or any type of device. At this hour, the cause of the explosion remains a mystery. And while some eyewitnesses tell us they smelled gas shortly after the explosion, the gas and electric company tell us there are no gas lines at that beach. Cecilia? Mary Bruce, thank you. And now to the race for the White House. Thousands turning out today to cheer on Donald Trump, the Republican contender, taking his immigration speech to border states. As the billionaire businessman soars in the polls, the backlash inside his own party is growing. Here's ABC's Devin Dwight. Tonight, Donald Trump stumping at the epicenter of the immigration debate. In Phoenix, Arizona, Trump expecting around 10,000 at the convention center, one of the largest crowds for any Republican candidate this campaign. And they're killing us at the border, and they're killing us in trade. They're killing us. He's sharing the stage with Arizona Sheriff Joe Arpaio, the controversial icon in the debate about illegal immigration. The real estate mogul surging in the polls as he doubles down on immigration. Trump now near the top of the GOP presidential pack, rivaling former Florida Governor Jeb Bush. They're bringing drugs. They're bringing crime. They're rapists. Words that have sparked protests from L.A. to D.C. Nearly every Republican candidate worried that Trump is hurting outreach to Latinos. His statements denounced as offensive and inaccurate. He also said it in a way that's going to kill my party. The Republican Party chairman personally calling Trump this week, asking him to tone it down. Today, a hint of moderation. I the spirit of the Mexico people. For Republicans, the race to the White House is now a race to the debate stage. Just 26 days from now, the candidates will face off for the first time in Cleveland. And with his surge in the polls, Donald Trump will likely be on that stage. Cecilia. Devin, thank you. And now to college football, Florida State University back in the headlines again. The second player in less than a week accused of violently attacking a woman during a night out at a bar. Tonight, the coach is promising his team will do better. ABC's Ron Claiborne has the latest. Florida State star running back Dalvin Cook is free on bail today. This after turning himself into law enforcement Friday afternoon on charges of battery for allegedly punching a woman outside a Tallahassee bar. He was immediately suspended from the team. This comes just days after FSU quarterback DeAndre Johnson was kicked off the team. Also charged was punching a woman at another Tallahassee bar. 
an alleged assault captured on security video. To be at this level, for Florida State to be this high in this rarefied era of college football, and then to have this kind of misbehavior going on, it's the ultimate embarrassment. Head coach Jimbo Fisher.